the next country where one doesn't expect to find hinduism is japan hinduism has only a very limited uh, uh, presence in japan but it is there and it has also indirectly played a role in the formation of the present day japanese culture this is because many buddhist beliefs and tradition which share a common root uh, spread to japan from china and the korean peninsula in the 6th century ce so basically to japan it went through uh, china and korea there is a uh, sangu sangjen do temple uh, a big temple in uh, japan built in 1164 ce uh, which is a buddhist uh, temple in kyoto and is guarded by around a thousand armed human sized statues of kanon the japanese goddess of compassion now uh, these thousand life size kanon uh, wooden statues have 28 guardian deities in front of them present i mean even today and uh, these guardian deities are all of indian origin and primarily hindu gods in ancient actually in ancient japanese buddhism hindu deities were revered and given a place of respect in the buddhist pantheon and the beautiful harmony with which the ancient japanese monks managed to fit all gods and deities from the parent stream of hinduism into its offshoot buddhism is quite remarkable and probably uh, the only uh, place where such a thing has happened and indication of this is the japanese seven gods of fortune which uh, they river uh, out of these seven four are hindu deities uh, which are saraswati kuber shiva and lakshmi with their japanese names so uh, that is how they have managed to actually amalgamate beautifully the hindu gods into their buddhist uh, thought then few other gods like uh, the hindu god of death or yama is known in uh, there in buddhist form as enma then garud uh, is known as uh, karura uh, which is depicted as a enormous fire breathing uh, creature then uh, you have tenens uh, which are originated from the apsaras of the hindu uh, um, uh, religion uh, then you have ganesh also known as kangiten uh, he is displayed in some temples even more number of times than buddha himself uh, in few of the temples in uh, one of them being in tokyo so there are other examples also these are the deities but even the philosophy Uh, like the japanese uh, have their six schools or six doctrines of philosophy which basically is a uh, of mother uh, taken from the indian the six darshanas or the schools of philosophy which uh, we had we have in our hindu um, uh, scriptures so uh, there's a, been a lot of influence into uh, not only the religious thought but also the philosophy of uh, japanese buddhism